those who become are those who never settle. They know that there is always a better and greater version. And for the men, this one thing I know from scripture and from the experience of people with proven family track records, that the real needs of a woman is security and emotional fulfillment. It is true. Love in one word for a woman is security. Security and emotional fulfillment. Security. So every man who intends to build a home must sustain the unashamedness to communicate security and to communicate the requisite level of emotional fulfillment that will give the woman psychological strength it will not just happen the first two three four five years of marriage it is a principle that will last i look at my mom today even in her old age and i still see and discern that craving of security and emotional fulfillment hallelujah praise the lord it is dangerous when men get married to women and ill treat them like pieces of rags simply because they are now married she's giving you two three children and then it ends it's the reason why people must ask the holy ghost to help them because you see nobody has the power to stay with one person forever you change clothes you change hair you change cars you change jobs you change everything but now you are mandated to stay with one person for the rest of your life it's not natural so there will have to be a grace that continues to keep that person fresh before you regardless of the reality of advancement in age and life and time and so on and so forth are we together now yes i've always given this example when you see a man of say 60 years or 70 years on a wheelchair shaking because he's sick and the wife is standing by him and saying my husband at that point is no longer emotions there has to be a grace from god that makes that woman to still love because nobody that scenario by default is not pleasant women need security they need emotional fulfillment that means what men should do is not just to look for wives they should understand that if I commit myself to marriage I'm committing myself to providing security providing emotional fulfillment it is true that when men provide security and emotional fulfillment they provide for the women the fuel that drives them to be supportive that drives them to give their best and their all towards the central purpose of that home gentlemen listen to me we must make up our minds that in the name of jesus all of the responsibility that we need to submit ourselves to that make for providing security and providing the requisite level of emotional fulfillment that you will labor under God to make that happen. This is where things like irresponsibility and the rest becomes bad. Are we together now? Yes. The motive that drives many people from marriage is very disturbing because marriage is a lifetime thing. And anything that is not lasting will become a disadvantage eventually. I hope you are getting blessed with what I'm sharing. This is a very powerful Valentine message. So that as you are preparing, you don't just look and say, Ah, I'm not young again. Oh. My department, who is there? Or my this, or who is there? Who can I check? And I'm ready for marriage. Just because the church approves your wedding date doesn't mean you are ready for marriage. These are the things that must be in place. With all humility, you can know I'm ready for marriage. I'm ready for marriage because I'm ready to commit to providing security 
and providing the emotional fulfillment i'm ready for marriage because i am ready to honor my husband sincerely i am ready to respect i am ready to honor him truly now let me say this the real way to be a blessing is to work on yourself the real way to be a blessing is not expecting what will make you a blessing is working on yourself i think that most times we have it the other way around most ladies believe that when you get that exceptional man when you get that wonderful man then you will be happy most men believe that when you get that exceptional lady then you will be happy let me tell you this it is true that the value that is built from within you becomes your advantage i told you that love in marriage is unconditional but stability and fulfillment is highly conditional it will be impossible look up please it will be impossible for a couple that eventually are not active contributors of value to themselves to indefinitely continue to remain in joy and be happy to see themselves every day is not true they will make up their mind that under every condition this marriage will stand but as far as joy and fulfillment is concerned it does not just work by default listen please look up no woman should love her husband just because he brings bread to the table just because he's visionary just because he's making progress however when that man becomes visionary when that man becomes responsible it's easy for her knees to touch the ground because there is a basis are we together now there is a support system that encourages her honor you cannot compare two women on one side you have this man who is not responsible he, he doesn't care whether the rent is paid he doesn't care whether the children are fed all he knows is that whatever will be will be and then a man who is meticulously responsible the approach of their wives to them will not be the same the woman will say i will love my husband forever but you cannot say they are fulfilled at the same level are we together fulfillment and stability is based on mutual contribution of value please write it down this is very powerful that mindset of unconditional love just for nothing is going to cost many people a lot because there are many ladies who are not doing anything about their lives they are not growing they are not building themselves they are not building their minds all they are doing is praying and expecting a visionary born again established man to come same thing happening for the men they are not building themselves they are not building capacity all they are doing is praying for that wonderful lady to come it does not work that way what i'm saying is true you may love me as a person but you will get fulfilled around me only based on the awareness of the value that i continue to provide for you is that true yes sir. when it was time for isaac to bless his sons he said make me venison it, i know you are my son but i need value to come from you to gladden my heart so that something can leave me to you are we together now look up please as the bride of christ we are all his bride he will never deny you but in terms of usability we are not the same are we together now do you agree with that that god can almost seem to abandon one person and come and stand and invest his attention on another why because of your committal to advancing his purposes the sacrifices you have made to build yourself spiritually that every time you show up in a place you allow so much of god to find expression and god has noted you for being so useful for the kingdom and so he will guard you he will protect you this is how it is no man will indefinitely be proud of his wife forever for nothing no woman 
will indefinitely be proud of her husband for nothing these are hard truths that many will not tell you but listen your love will remain regardless of what happens but your fulfillment and the stability of your home will be predicated upon the mutual awareness of the value that you provide this is true all staff are staff in a company but there is promotion even within that company and for every promotion there are many benefits that come with it someone can start from level one and in 10 15 years be at the same level this happens psychologically a man can promote his wife in his mind psychologically she's still his wife he still loves her but the depth of honor and committal continues to change every time she's an unfolding of wonder she continues to be an epitome of value and one day the man will stand and say lord thank you for giving me such a woman that's how you know you are valuable so away with that idea that my husband will marry me and no matter what happens the bible says he should love me you are right but you will still feel the heat of being valueless same thing happens to the man you cannot say well i've married and i've married i've paid a dowry and that's all you will be surprised at how draggy and grudgy and sad your marriage will be there will still be love but there will not be fulfillment fulfillment in marriage is highly conditional i love all the workers in this ministry you are precious people and you know that i love you with all my heart but in all fairness the level and the extent of contribution at an individual level is not the same are we together now that means that the trust level the and, and many other factors will not be the same 